The other side, which is what most people know when they think of hostage taking, is that domestic violence situation. Okay. Guy thinks his wife's cheating on him. So he grabs her, puts a gun to her head, barricades himself in, in his house. Right. Um, it's emotional, it's expressive violence. It's between him and her. He doesn't want anyone else. There's no third party that he wants there, especially the police, right? And it's more likely if things don't happen, uh, gonna, it's gonna result in um, the injury or death of that, that hostage or that person being held captive and likely, or sometimes likely, I mean, a high percentage of the time, uh, suicide also, right? And that then dictates how you talk to that person. Because when I arrive at a situation, uh, in a barricaded situation as a hostage negotiator, or a crisis negotiator, um, I know that I'm not wanted. So I have a whole litany of stuff I got to do to get permission to talk to that person and then let alone build that relationship and then getting that person to release the, the his wife and come out without any further violence. And, you know, and, and it's more of a, a, a crisis um, intervention, suicide uh, uh, intervention or uh, prevention approach in terms of how I talk to them. And so in those situations, since it's emotional, it's expressive, I'm not, a, I'm, I'm not on uh, part of the conversation, they don't want me there. I gotta be the helper. I gotta come in and deal with the emotions. I gotta deal with that person and what they're thinking. And so I become the helper. I become the social support. Because almost every one of those people, regardless of their background, I mean, they could be doing terrible things. You know, they could be have killed somebody already. Uh, they could have raped somebody already. Now they've got the, the, the person, they're shot five people. Now they got this other person held up. Um, I'm going to approach them in the same manner. Um, rather, it's a domestic violence situation or a bank robber or a terrorist or a child molester. I'm going to approach them the same way. And my opening line is always, you know, when I was in the FBI is, you know, hi, I'm Greg with the FBI. Are you okay? That's my opening line. Um, and that starts and I establish that I'm here to help type stuff. Because really at the end of the day, the person comes out because I ask him to, right? And the reason he does is because I'm the only person that's making sense and seems to really care about that person in the moment, even though he knows I'm a police officer or law enforcement officer, and he knows that his life is going to change. 